What is up, fam? And welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be going over Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now, I've owned this cabinet for a little bit over a week, and I've had a lot of playtime on it, specifically in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I have experimented with the online play as well for the rest of the games that are on the cap, and I'll talk a little bit about that too. So, let's take a look at some of the different types of caps that this game originally came in and what it ran on. Dynamo, Big Blue, and my personal favorite, the pedestal. Arcade One Up's reimagination of the cab is different and definitely subjective to your own personal preference. And of course it ran on the fabulous Sega Naomi. Most of the things I'm gonna cover in this video are specific to Marvel vs. Capcom 2. But I am going to talk a little bit about the desync issues and online play issues, which are specific to Marvel vs. Capcom 1. So we're going to take a look at desync, online play issues, cross play issues, audio issues, graphical issues, stuttering, put drops, input lag, volume randomly turning down and I'm sure a couple other things. So without further ado, here we go. I'm just gonna start off with a quick visual overview. Everybody always wants to see what the cab looks like up close, so here's a good look. So far, the only time I've ever experienced one in-game pause was when I was playing with scan lines on. However, I know that other people have experienced it multiple times, just like in Justin Wong's video. Here's a close-up of image quality with scan lines on. I don't normally play with scan lines on anyways, so I turn them off and haven't had the pause at all since. However, some people I'm sure would like that, so it might be something that's affecting it. Let's go and get ready to keep up. In here. So overall, I haven't experienced anything game stopping, but I do know that other people are having different experiences. With that being said, the volume when I'm playing the game randomly turns down, and this isn't the first cab that it's happened to me on. Now I'm going to show you guys an example of audio stuttering, and this happens any time that you've been playing concurrent rounds. But I've only noticed it on the player's select screen. <laughs> Select your heroes. 
Here are some examples of what other people have been experiencing with this cab. Now there's clearly software issues, but maybe there's hardware issues too. Regardless, this is a lot of mess to clean up and a lot of people have experienced very similar things. So I think when we see experiences like this and match them up with the ones that I'm having, it definitely gives me a lot more context with where Arcade 1UP stands with this release right now. So I'm gonna go through the games list real quick just so that you can see all the other games that are included with the options. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about cross-play issues. So after we're done looking at all these options, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of gameplay from Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Really, the whole point of that is just so that you guys can see how the game runs, how it looks, and kind of get an impression of the overall feel. Now, for me, all the other games run great. They look great. The scan lines look great. There's no screen stretching. Everything seems to perform nicely, with the exception of Marvel vs. Capcom 1 online crossplay. Now, this is a specific issue when you are trying to crossplay with a Marvel vs. Capcom 1 cabinet or X Men vs. Street Fighter and a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cabinet. With that being said, crossplay isn't an issue if you and the other person both have a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cabinet. But if not, then you are going to experience a desync when playing Marvel vs. Capcom online. Here is a great example of that with an experiment that me and Kongs R Us did on a live stream to see if the desyncing was an issue only for that game, which it was. I, I I will I will take it easy as much as I can. I'll no 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 no. You can't do that because I, yep. I I mean it's good practice. You want anyways, me to go full so. boat? Yeah. Just go, let, let's just go. I want to see how quickly you destroy me. Okay. All right. This is this is gonna be full boat. This is my main. Oh. Oh God. There it is. It happens quickly. <laughs> <laughs> it's that cross up on the block <laughs> magic series all right let's just see all right are do we wait what's happening did you did i, I lose i finished on my side wait oh we desynced already oh my god we did it's look, I'm on mine. I have one zero on yeah, mine already. You're, you're not moving. Oh my God, that's crazy. That happened so quick. Okay, so starting off from the beginning, we weren't even on the same stage. And then as soon as Kong super finished me, it was over. On his screen, he had won. On mine, I was still going and everybody was just kind of sitting there. Here's my list of issues that I've compiled from my own experiences and also confirmed that other people have had these same issues. This is my rating based on what you get right out of the box right now and based on functionality and optimization. Being that I'm a fan, disclaimer, I still love this cab. But what is going on with the cab, software, hardware, whatever, it all needs to get fixed, especially the online issues. All of these things are just considerations and like I said, I highly recommend to check out other reviews and see what other people are saying online about this cab before you buy it. And if you do buy it, buy it with the expectation that it will not be perfect. As far as the overall look of the cab goes, it doesn't bother me at all. I like it, I think the artwork is cool and everything else about it is pretty nice. I like the joystick. It was at this moment that she knew. She f***ed up. ...that they've been using in the newer cabs, and this is the same thing. Well, that about covers it, fam. That about covers it, fam. So, I guess, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, and I will do my best to answer any questions that you guys leave down there. I did pre-order my cab from Walmart, 
And so I received it very quickly because I'm in California and they have a hub out here. So I pretty much got it the next day once Walmart released shipment. If you wanna know what my recommendation is for where you should buy it, well, if Walmart opens up pre-orders again, I would definitely get it through them. Um, anywhere else that has it available, shipping times have been varying. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. And if you have, please give it a like. Until next time, I'll see you guys then.